So guys, welcome today on another video on the YouTube channel. Uh, we are here on the Brussels Motor Show and I'm here today together with Anthony. So guys, welcome. We are here at the show, so like last year, our friends over at AutoFans has invited us with them on the press day. So today, me and Aaron are going to be very professional press people. Or not. We're just gonna go around, look at the show, look what we find interesting at the day, at this year's motor show, and yeah, give you our honest opinions, non biased by anything, just because we don't really care. And besides uh, auto fans, we're gonna try to make uh, an as nice as possible vlog for you guys on the channel, so I would say enjoy our content on the Brussels Motor Show today. Welcome to my favorite stand, Mercedes. Big fan of the brand, so let's check out what they have. I heard they have some new AMGs. I see one is still under the cover, so that's a bit of a bummer, so we're gonna have to come back later. Aaron is very distur distracted by this ass, apparently. Yeah, it's just my father has the same one in this color, but the convertible, like it's here. In fact, I turned Aaron from a BMW guy to a Mercedes guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and also really like the color combination on this one. It's like a, is, is this a British racing green inspired color with like 10 leather seats? Yes, yes. Yeah. At first I didn't really like it, but the combination with the, the brown leather, it's... It's, it's pretty, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty it's cool. So this is the new GLB by Mercedes, this is the 35 AMG model. I gotta say I kinda like it, it's like the new, like the successor to the, what is the GLK? A bit more the same design, a bit boxy, but this is actually a seven seater. Let's check out if it's open and if the GLB's back seats are actually comfortable. If this is a seven seater anyway. Oh, this is gonna be such a tight fit, bro. Check the leg space. There is not much leg space in there. Well, there, these seats, well, those rear seats are actually like really far back. So maybe, let me check this out. <laughs> Consumer testing at its best. And well, can you even see me? <laughs> yeah, I can see you a little bit. Well, with the seat in this position, so I don't know how much leg room there is up front, but oh, in this position... You. Wait, let me get in the car. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be better. You have some leg room there? Yeah, now with this, like, if you can see, the seat is now like, what, 20 centimeters more forward than the next one. So, I have a bit of leg room, but I have to say, like, you don't have any under thigh support or anything, so... You can't stretch out, so if you put me in here for like an hour, I'm gonna be cramping up real bad and but also if i have to sit in front of you at this moment it's, <laughs> it's just not possible yeah, well look the, seat at this. Can, the seat can come back like like 10 or 20 centimeters but it's not much oh. i give this seven seater like uh, let's say uh seven out of ten six out of ten just because it is a seven seater if you have two kids back here it will be perfect but adults you're not gonna put adults in here okay Okay, let's leave you here. <laughs> Just uh, hey. goodbye for the day. Dude. Bye. Yeah. So guys, I'm sorry I just changed my underwear in the back room because uh, yeah. this car is gorgeous and for all of you guys who are wondering what I would buy if I did not have my MX-5 or I didn't need my MX-5 no more, either this or that because that would be a bit more practical. So I'm talking about an A or a CLA 45. So. What is, the, what is this 45? So you have the 35 and the GLB which has 306 horsepower but then you have the 45 and the 45S models which just makes this little hatchback have 420 horsepower. And it's four-wheel drive, it pops and bangs like crazy. And Mercedes Belgium, if you're watching this, I would love to test one out. Pretty please? Someone help me out here because Anthony is supposed to take pictures for the Ottoman space but I can't get him away from Mercedes. He's addicted. What? Just asking myself if we'll see any other brands today because it looks like we're gonna stay here for the rest of the day, isn't it? Well, 
we, the day is long, we have a lot of time here, so... Oh, and also, like a lot of manufacturers... It's electric. Electric. But Do we like electric? Mm. Well, I don't know. It's not a full electric. Mm, yeah, I guess I like it. So this is more Aaron's thing. A big luxury. Talking about electric, there's also an E in the name, so I think it's hybrid. Hey, it's, it's, bec it's because taxes, bro. If they put an electric engine in it, you don't pay any taxes. Yeah, we're still in Belgium. Let's take a look at this. This, this is more my thing. Luxury. Aaron and his luxury cars. But I have to say, I do like so the S-Class. Nice. And the seat just sits so comfortable. Maybe you can put on the massager while you're talking about cars. <laughs> and it's, everything is so big. It's, it's huge and it's still, it still really all flows together. It's super nice. I really love it. Good steering wheel. Anthony just liked the steering wheel from the old S-Class a little bit more, but... Uh, but this is the sports steering wheel, so yeah. normally you have the normal S-Class steering wheels, but it doesn't come in the three spoke And for me, a luxury car doesn't need a sporty steering wheel. Yeah. It just needs something to feel pure luxury. Yeah. Because like it's an... The steering, it's well, it's like, the steering wheel is just like an old Nokia, it's full of buttons. It just it doesn't stop. You have buttons here, touchpad there, it's 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 a lot. Yeah, and a big big button in the middle. A big button in the middle. <laughs> That's the angry button. <laughs> Don't think you'll get angry if you're in a car like this. I think you will be like, peasant to move out of my way. <laughs> So this car is the Renault Espas and it's facelifted. Yeah, okay. We don't really care. But there is a bit of a surprise and because Aaron is a luxury man, he needed to test it out. So Aaron, tell us. What is the surprise in this Renault Espas? Well, from the outside it's just like a minivan. Yeah, if if you have too many children just buy this, you know. But the inside is actually quite nice. I like so, it. So digital instrument cluster, Full digital instrument cluster. Nice, like high up. Yeah, dash, dashboard and center console. Good lighting. And how are the seats? Because if you look at the passenger seat, like you have like these big pillows as headrests. Nice stitching. They seem like very comfortable, but that's but the the luxury man will tell us. They like, they're big. But they're not actually that soft. It's but they look nice. Like it's even not, the stitching. It's not an S class. It's, it's not an S class. But really dude, nice. for the price, you can I buy mean, like you two or three S classes. Seats, so. And you have this nice stitching also in the doors that goes from the seats. I'm I'm enjoying this interior. Yeah, it's surprisingly nice. It's expected. It's um, it's actually. Do we do the seven seater test again? <laughs> it's a seven seater. Do you want to be in a cramped space again? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so. Does it have soft clothes? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Power. But okay, the interior is nice. I actually like this purple color because in the light it's like bright purple, and when you move like back, it they turns have black. Seats in the back. Don't. Yes, they do. Heated, but wait, wait. So heated they have seat. heated seats in the back, but why is the button like there? If the door is closed, you can't reach that. I, I you can. test it out. I can you reach the button? That. Yeah. It is for children. I couldn't get out. <laughs> you can reach it, but I just broke my watch. You yeah, can okay. reach it if you. So it's you for can. children, so the children can reach it. They have plenty. Of so guys, if you don't know, we're taking like a bit of a joke with this car, but I actually like the interior. I was just joking around for fun, so please don't take us too seriously. And Renault, if you're watching this, we would love to test this car out. It's nice. Yeah, you can take it on a road trip or something. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah that would be a plan. That would be something cool. We're gonna come and come back and contact Renault for something like that. So guys, so we're right now at another stand that is very dear to our heart and certainly on our channel because it is Mazda. And of course, Mazda has a few MX-5s that we'll look over in a bit, like in, yeah, in a bit. But this is like their new launch. So as you might have heard, this is the Mazda C uh, MX-30, their first electric car. And this is gonna be one of the electric cars that actually is a bit different because it doesn't have the biggest battery. And that's on purpose because Mazda is kind of looking at the total impact of the car. So they put a smaller battery in because smaller batteries will be replaceable with better batteries in a few years. And that means that the current batteries don't have a, a huge impact on the environment. So the total impact, so to say, is a lot lower than the yeah, most electric cars like Tesla behind us right now. That's on the market. So it's really, I really like how Mazda is going about this. And I have to say, the car doesn't look that all that bad. I don't know what you think, Aaron, but I don't think it looked that bad. No, it doesn't. It has the, the, the style and the lines of Mazda, but it's a bit like, different. yeah, a bit, a bit more modern. It's nice. Like, but of course, this wouldn't be AP on the road if we didn't talk about the MX-5. Again. So, <laughs> again, for time, 460,000. <laughs> no, so what Mazda brought to the show this year is one soft top and one RF. Now the RF model didn't change much. It's a BBS package with everything on it. So it has a side skirt, a full aero pack, front lip, rear uh, diffuser, and uh, yeah, spoiler with the black BBS wheels. Looks really nice in the gray color. But I think we will have to check. But for 2020, Mazda is coming out with a gray soft top. So instead yeah. of the black and red that we already know, we now have, have a gray one. Now this. It doesn't look like a gray one. It's a black one. It's a black one. It's just an MX-5 like yours. No, not it's not. This is a 1.5. And do you know how you can tell it's a 1.5? I don't know. Wheels. It, it has, has smaller wheels. wheels. Yeah, it yours has smaller has wheels. wheels. But mine are 17 inch. So the two liters get 17 inch wheels. You changed them. yours. That's not fair. But it's are still 17 inch wheels. <laughs> They're just wider, bro. <laughs> Yeah, this, so this is the sole red color. It's still one of the most bright red colors that there is on the market right now, and it looks very nice. But we know this car, so if we just run through the stand of Mazda really quick. So RF. We have soft top, we have the RF, we have Mazda the Mazda 3, 3 which almost, we reviewed. Yeah, we reviewed, so click like up somewhere, we'll put the card in it to our review. Uh, this one is a bit different because it has a red interior. So if you take a look in the interior real quick, you will see it has like all the red accents and the red seats. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of this color. I don't know I about don't know. you. It, it is pops different. Out. The combination with the gray is not like the best, but it, it works. pops out. It's, yeah. it's nice because the black was just like, okay, it's a gray car, it's a black interior. Yeah. But yeah. actually, I actually, I quite like it. Yeah, it's like that. And it's not like, like a, a very, red it's it's like more what do you say bordeaux yeah kind, kind of, of bordeaux color, yeah. ish yeah it's nice but to know more about this car we can watch our review so let's move on now a car that i reviewed on instagram is actually the mazda 3 so last year at the show we had the mazda 3 launch and they had a sedan so we didn't test the sedan actually but there is a sedan here so if you're interested in knowing more about it you can check it out so then we have mazda 6 we have a facelifted mazda 2 so it got a bit of an upgrade. Oh yeah, give me the camera. I need you to test something. Okay. Get in the Mazda 2 and feel the gear shift. That's right, you told me. It's quite nice. It's like very clicky. It's, it's like a sporty shifter. Yeah, it is. It's, it's really tight, are... really precise, really tight. The trolls are like... Really not that long. It's sporty, it's short rows. Nice. Yeah, so the story why I did Aaron let Aaron test this is because I had this car uh, like last week when I brought my Mazda to the dealership I needed to, like a car to get to work. And they gave me a Mazda 2 and I was really surprised by how the gearbox handled it, yeah, how the gearbox was and how the driving uh, stability was of the car. It was a really fun uh, handling car. Like if you want to make this thing sporty, the only thing it needs is maybe lowering springs 
and some grippy tires. That's all it needs and it will be so much fun to drive. So if we move on from the two, we have the facelifted Mazda 6s. We have the sedan brake. Uh, yeah, the sedan in the estate version. Mazda CX-3, still the same. CX-5 without the optional aero package or trim package actually. And we have one with it. So I have to say, for guys who are watching the channel and you saw the Miata that saved them video, Ludo has this package on his red one. And I have to say it really like makes the CX-5 a bit more aggressive. So I really like it. Then of course, I know all you guys are already typing in the comments, CX-30, CX-30. Well there, it's behind this plant thingy. And there are actually two! It's not a plant thing, it's a bonsai. Yeah, right. It's a yeah, let's move on to the driver. <laughs> so, if you look at the C the best description that I can give for the CX-30 is if you... If yeah, the CX-5 and the new Mazda 3 had a baby, it would be the CX-30. So it has the interior, the new interior styling, new infotainment and everything from the new Mazda 3. And from the outside, like... I have like the impression that the lower half is CX-5 and the top half is Mazda 3. To, to, make my, to give you guys my opinion on it, I don't know how to feel. Like I really like the CX-5, I really like the Mazda 3, but I don't know if I like this. Like Aaron said, the black borders all around the car are too big. I have black borders at the Mini, those are really hard to keep clean and yeah, it's just not nice to have plastic on your car. And uh, the interior is the same as the tree, so that's really good. But yeah, I don't know. I, I can't say that I would buy this car. 